No one and nothing can solve all the cybersecurity problems alone. Go security is our mindset and method to improve security capabilities, competencies, and culture through collaboration and coordination in good partnership. As you know, we have been developing our technology with partners in mind for years. The service wrapper that technology enables you to build is becoming more important than ever. Due to high complexity, elevated risks, changing threat landscape, customers are unable to navigate it all alone. So they reach out to those who they trust, to you or directly to the vendors. Unfortunately, the Gartner prediction has come true. There is simply not enough cybersecurity talent out there, which makes it impossible for businesses to defend themselves alone. But what if they are not alone? This is Tom. Tom is a CISO of a large company, and as you can see, he's been really busy keeping the business safe by purchasing multiple IT and security solutions. He understands what technologies do and why they are needed, but lately he started to feel that he's losing control a bit. Too many vendors, too many solutions. Administrating those is time-consuming and inefficient. Too much information is fed to him and his teams daily, and there are not enough competent people who can make sense of it all. But the worst thing is that Tom really never feels that everything is under control anymore. The feeling of if something happens is long gone, and the feeling of when something happens keeps him awake at night. Many say that it would be easier to outsource, but uh, deployment timelines are insane. And what about all the existing IT and cybersecurity solutions in place? What's their role in this outsourcing picture? And this is Jerry. Jerry is a board member of the same company where Tom is a CISO. He just received a brief for his, ne his next week's board meeting. Oh no, the cybersecurity slot is again doubled in time. They're proposing to significantly, significantly increase the investment, add more technologies, hire more people. Just last week, he read an article about their peer company, which has been compromised. It resulted in the leakage of millions of customers' data directly affecting company brand and shareholders' confidence. It will take a long time for them to recover, Jerry is thinking. So he understands all the measures that Tom is proposing, but he just doesn't believe it will ever be enough. In fact, he's thinking, why don't we just buy cyber insurance instead? Unfortunately, what Jerry is thinking is representing thoughts of vast majority of the business decision makers. Cyber fatigue has landed in the boardrooms, and nobody wants to admit to it. The reason is that security teams and CISOs are speaking the language that is very hard for business decision makers to connect to business outcomes and business processes. Tom and Jerry, they are both right. Their struggles are actually, indeed, the reality. Perhaps there is no one-size-fits-all solution for all the customers, but more and more customers are actually relying on security services instead of only products. This is because there are engagement models where customers like Tom can regain their confidence and customers like Jerry, along with the rest of the board, to understand the business outcomes of these security investments. So these are some of the examples of customer struggles. So when they reach for help to you and to us, we know exactly what they expect, business and security outcomes. 
But while we're serving their needs and we're meeting their expectations, we also have businesses to run. So how do we build together a service that is scalable and that is profitable for us? What are the different models? Over past years, we've been co-creating some of these models with many of our partners. And I believe we have identified a few patterns that you should be aware of if you are on transformation journey to provide security services or expand your service portfolio. Vendor consolidation. Too many vendors, too many clouds, too many integrations. Killing the agility and decreasing transparency. It's unlikely that there will be one vendor who can solve it all. For sure, there are name or two who claim to have it. But the truth is that you really need to make certain choices. Consolidation of multiple solutions into a single platform increases the efficiency and scalability of your service delivery operations. Almost 70% of our key partners say that it's very important that the offering is easily integratable to their own portfolio. And delivery-oriented vendors offer more than just technology. Sure, it's difficult to find a partner who can fit your portfolio, your strategy, your service maturity. But once there is a match, it can be the beginning of a good partnership where further service development and collaboration models can be built together. 89% of our focus partners, of you guys, are saying that the fact that with secure elements enables you to build services on the top and there are collaboration and support models available is extremely important. In other words, for any technology that you choose for your tech stack, look for delivery and outcomes-oriented vendors. Based on a recent customer study, these are the top three outcomes customers are expecting you to deliver. First, safeguarding the remote workforce. This was probably an obvious one because of all the circumstances. The second is to increase understanding of cybersecurity threats and risks and capability to increase speed and effectiveness to respond to these threats. And the number three is ensure business continuity without interruptions. Well, if you need even more reasons why co-security is such a big deal, I will give you one. Faster time to market. So you don't need to build your capabilities from the scratch overnight. And you don't need to provide the service 24-7 from the get-go. In fact, you first can pilot with a small segment of your customers with our help, and then once you're ready and you reach certain maturity level, then you can scale it wider. There are many, many, many use cases of when we can collaborate and offer this co-security together. But we have been now exploring a few of these co-security motions. Co-monitoring, co-management, and outsourced models are the ones that nicely complement service providers' own offering. But to really make this comprehensive, an additional layer called on-demand services is needed. Benefits about these models were already mentioned, but what do these co-monitoring, co-management, outsourced and on-demand models mean in practice with real concrete examples? Well, let's take co-monitoring. So that's when we monitor your end customer environments and concrete example is probably it's done during a specific time frame. For example, outside of your business hours. Should something unordinary happen, we will immediately take sufficient action and then also reach out to your on-duty manager to then together validate and actually investigate further what is actually happening. Co-management is the next layer and it includes everything that was mentioned in the monitoring. On top of that, vendor is also partly responsible for the management side as well. 
Here it can be, for example, that the management of customer systems is completely transferred to the vendor, uh, for example, during the out-of-office hours. Or it might be that some part of the security management is completely in the responsibility of the, of the vendor, for example, vulnerability management and system patching. And the next model or motion is, is outsourcing. So there are a few partners that we know decided to focus on technology offering and some other services, but these high-end cybersecurity services just not ready for yet. So that's where we can start meeting the needs of your customers immediately by providing the service directly to them. But of course, in the spirit of good partnership, keeping it completely transparent and explaining how do we demonstrate the value to the customer and how that relationship evolves. Another scenario is when you actually do have it in your strategy to build the cybersecurity managed services, but you're just not ready or in the ramp up stage. Once again, we believe we can do it together, where we can share with you openly how did we set up our processes, our technologies, train our people, and then your teams can learn by co-creating or co-delivering this service together with us. So learning by doing. And then the last layer, this on-demand services. This is a layer that is intended for irregular situations where partners or customers' own resources are temporarily not available or not enough. For example, there is an event in the system and you are not entirely sure what to do with that. Or you need help to check if a system event is a real incident. Or you know that there is already attack ongoing and you need help to contain and then investigate where did the attack came from and how to prevent that in the future. Challenges that can't be easily solved without additional help. We never leave you in trouble, no matter what's the situation. With us, you are never alone. Co-security is delivering proven and measurable business outcomes through the fusion of technology, humans, and good partnership. Thank you so much, Elena and Nico. And now we have time and opportunity for some questions from the audience. So any of you who have any questions on your mind, here's your opportunity to raise your hand and someone from the crew will come right over and, and give you a microphone. Not all at once, but uh, raise your hand when you have a question in mind. But let's start with mine. So Elena and Nico, what are some of your expectations for the next two days? Well, for me, like you said in the beginning, mm -hmm. this is the first big event for the for three years, mm -hmm. and, and it's really, really interesting to see old faces, but also new, new faces. And, and I'm really looking forward to, to meet partners, discuss different, different kinds of topics, and, and just have fun. Sounds great. What about you? Um, I think what we just talked about is still work in progress. So it's not like we have productized it into these collaboration packages and here choose one. We are really on the journey to deliver, to build it together with you. So I'm looking forward to actually engage in the discussions where we can understand better the use cases. Is it 24-7 is it that you struggle with? Is it outside of business hours? Is it something else? Mm -hmm. uh, we have actually a good collection of scenarios, but I'm looking forward to, to actually do a bit of research mm -hmm. while having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the perfect combination. So. I will ask the second question then. Um, and once again, I want to remind you that at, if you want to, to raise your hand, uh, the crew will be right over with a microphone. But I have another question that I'm burning to ask. So you just went through a rebranding. Um, so besides the obvious, can you name one thing that has changed? My microphone is off. All right. Um, let me speak louder then. <laughs> Let's try again. So my second question has to do with rebranding. And thank you for pointing that out, by the way. Um, so rebranding, it's still off. 
All right. We'll go with the, the old-fashioned version. Thank you. Thank you, and apologies for, for the technical difficulties. So, my question for the third time. Now you've had some proper time to think about it. <laughs> so, you just but, went through a rebranding, yeah. as, as we all know. So, besides the obvious, can you name one thing that has changed? We did have time to think about it. <laughs> yeah, but... um, well, I think there are a lot of things changing, and not just the colors. <laughs> Um, we are able to invest more, we are able to focus better. But I think one thing, if I would want to pick one, is the fact that I'm really excited that comparing to other technology vendors, we are not betting just on technology and just on best features and just on best portfolio and fast roadmap. We are actually, we feel that technology will never be enough unless it's delivered by people who collaborate and work together. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we are betting on co-security and good partnership is beginning of a very exciting journey, and it makes us very different. Mm -hmm. And there are certain choices we have to make to walk that talk. Sounds good. Yeah, right. for me, I don't know if this is actually a change, but I think this is a more like, like focus that we do things with mm -hmm. the partners, with the customers. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm truly like believing into that, that, that no one actually can, can solve the things alone. Mm -hmm. But you need partnerships, you need different types of, of, of people and all that. So I think that's like mm. the greatest thing for me about the brand itself. Sounds good. So at this stage, thank you so much, Elena and Nico. Let's give thank them you. a round of applause. Thank you.